It's time to blow your own mind. Hi there, and welcome back to The Lisa Nichols Show, where I share with you the tools that you want, you desire, to live the life that you want to achieve. You know, I love reading your comments, and I love seeing your engagement with each other and with these episodes and with me. In the episode, How to Stay Driven and Own Your Power, Sandra comments, and I love this. She said, when you spoke about your abuse, what came to me is, stay aware of the cues and to literally understand and find the words or the affirmation to liberate yourself. Thank you for this message, I really love it. And Mara Alyssa says, your videos made me realize that I'm too amazing to let laziness and procrastination stand in the way of my bright future. Thank you for existing and thank God he brought your videos my way. Thank you so much, sis. I so appreciate your acknowledgement and you're so right. You know, we look at our bright future and we realize, hold on, I need to confront my own unhealthy habits so that my bright future will no longer just be a dream, but my reality. When we're inside of a relationship and we hit a speed bump, a speed bump is a disagreement, a speed bump is a, mo a moment of discord or an extended period of discord. The ego is always gonna get engaged. I mean, everywhere you go, your ego's gonna be with you. And so to just be mindful of that, the first way where you not allow your righteousness, your self-righteousness um, or your ego to be engaged or to lead the conversation. It's always gonna, your ego will always come along for the ride. My ego is always with me. I just tell my ego, look, my humility is gonna drive. Ego, you need to be in the back seat. So whenever you're addressing an uncomfortable moment, whether it be at work, whether it be at home, whether it be with siblings, with children, with a, a, a spouse or a significant other, and your ego gets engaged, because the ego is what's gonna drive your righteousness the need to prove something, defend, hide, or protect. Whether it's proving that you're the smartest or that you're right, uh, hiding that you're afraid or uncomfortable or, or frustrated. Because even hiding your frustration causes you to get hooked. You know, hiding that none of this has ever worked for you this way. You know, pretending, pretending that, pretending that you're someone that you're not pretending that you like or approve something that you don't. Anytime you wanna hide, protect, defend, or prove. I mean, write that down, because that's so important. Then all of a sudden, righteousness gets engaged. Ego gets engaged, because you're trying to convince or convert someone to think your way. When in fact, freedom of relationship allows you to freely disagree. Now, I was just in a conversation with my nephew last night, and he said, Auntie, why is it, so, he's dating, right? So why, why no matter how much I talk to her, she doesn't get it? I said, is it that she doesn't get it that's frustrating you or that she's not converted to your way of thinking? And he just kind of sat there for a moment and went, hmm. I said, because she gets it. She gets the way she believes. But you want her to get, accept, and convert to the way you're believing. That's ego. That says it's my way or no way. So the moment you can release someone to be as imperfectly imperfect and perfect for the relationship as they are, then all of a sudden you're moving in more grace and ease. So when you wanna confront righteousness or the need to, to be right, really ask yourself, what is it that I'm trying to prove? Whenever you say the statements, God, you know, they just don't get it. Is it that they don't get it or they don't get to think the way you're thinking and they're not thinking exactly the way you want them to think. What is it that they're not getting? They just won't wake up, they're just not conscious. And I run into this a lot, because I, I teach consciousness, I teach 
uh, human behavior. I teach, you know, emotional literacy. And so we're always looking over there at the people who don't get it. Well, you know, you got to watch out for that because when, when they don't get it, that means you got it all. And I, I just believe we all evolve at our own pace. We all grow at our own pace and growth in my definition might not be growth in your definition. And so the grace of allowing people to be exactly where they are. And your lesson is to say, can I unconditionally love this person? Can I choose them exactly where they are? Do I choose him exactly where he is? Now we'll evolve together, ideally, not at the same pace, but can I make the choice today? You know, they say the number one reason for divorce is that someone married the other person believing that they can change them after marriage. I think you need to say yes to the whole person. Then there's nothing to prove, nothing to protect, nothing to hide, nothing to defend, and no one to convert. So the next time you climb in your car, know that your ego is going to climb in with you. Don't let your ego even sit in the front passenger seat and definitely don't let your ego drive. Check your ego daily and go, you can come with me. I need you. I need you to have that charisma. I need you so that I can be bold. I need you so that I can have that sense of certainty, but I don't need you to get in the way of my relationships. Ego, you got to stay in the back seat. And some days you got to lock your ego in the trunk. Remember, this is not a show and it's not just a monologue. This is a dialogue between you and I. I want to hear from you. We're in a conversation. What about this conversation? What about ego getting engaged, your righteousness getting engaged, needing to have the last word? What about that triggered something for you? Or what was your BOL? You remember BOL breakthrough out loud. What was that moment when you went, you know what? Oh my God, that's me. Because a lot of times when your ego's engaged, no one can talk about your ego being engaged because your ego's engaged. But right now it's not. You're in listening, learning mode. You're sitting with your sister. So I'd love to hear. I'd love to hear what was the lesson out of this episode that you needed to get. Leave me a comment below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. What are you waiting on? This is your community. I'm your girl. We're together. And always look out for more amazing, soul-stirring content in the future because as long as you show up, I'm going to show up. Because remember, this right here is your home. We, we are your tribe. And I'm, I'm your sister in prosperity and in possibility. And when I say I believe in you and I love you, it's simply because I do. Remember, at the end of any argument, you want to be in harmony before you want to be right. I'm your sister in the journey. I'll see you soon.